Welcome to Towards 2015, the program to broaden your business perspective in a large market that consists of over 600 million consumers, which is the ASEAN market. After its local ASEAN region joint venture with Tiger, the low-cost airline, Thai Airways have decided to dive into the ASEAN market itself by setting up Thai Smile, with plans to fly in the region in the middle of 2012. Managing Director of Thai Spy Business Unit at Thai Airways International, the natural factor. Welcome to the program, Captain Wallonet. How are you today? I'm very good, thank you. <laughs> Can you tell us about Thai Smile and how it was uh, started? Thai Smile is a light premium sub brand of Thai Airways International. Yes. We operate as a business unit under the same company and using the same airline code. We, uh, the purpose of we launching Thai Smile is that we would like to create another choices for the passenger. Yes. They offer a different kind of product and service uh, that is maybe a little lower than the a full premium service as uh, Thai Airways at the moment, but also a, a little more worthy or cheaper than Thai Airways as well. Mm. And what is the investment plan uh, and when uh, you will start the service at Thai Smile? Uh, Thai Airways, we have invested in the, uh, the procurement of 11 uh, Airbus A320 aircraft, yes. which four of them will be delivered next year, starting by uh, June 2012. A total 11 aircraft altogether will bring us uh, some uh, fleet that will help us uh, expand our uh, route and network in regional. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's our main investment. Mm -hmm. So uh, from uh, Ju June next year, once we deliver the aircraft, we will start our operation in July. I see. What about the personnel, the captains, the cabin crew, how are they going to be recruited? We are in the process of recruiting the yes. pilots and uh, mm -hmm. cabin attendant for Thai Smile. Yes. Uh, for pilots, we, uh, some of the pilots will, came from, will come from Thai Airways. Yes. Uh, a retired with high experience captain mm -hmm. uh, will join Thai Smile mm -hmm. and some will be recruited from outside. Uh, but all of them will be recruited through our uh, personal recruitment company, Wingspans, I which see. is a private company holding by a uh, major share by Thai Airways. Mm -hmm. The cabin attendant, we're looking for about 100, 150 cabin attendants for the first year. Yes. The cabin attendant will be also recruited through Wingspan, mm -hmm. and we're looking for young, energetic, and full of uh, service-minded uh, personnel to join us as, as a what we call smart girl for Thai Smile. Uh, we are uh, open for recruitment until 13th of July next year. I see. So Sorry, my mistake. Uh, mm -hmm. Open until 13th of January mm. next year. So Captain, how are you going to differentiate uh, Thai Smile from the main fact carrier Thai Airways International? What is going to be the biggest differences? As I mentioned that we are a light premium of sub-brand of Thai Airways International. Yes. Uh, when we talk about light premium, we mean mm -hmm. that uh, product and service that it may, is maybe below uh, what, uh, what we give for, for the passenger in full service carrier like Thai Airways at the moment. Yes. Thai Airways, we are a full service carrier. We, mm -hmm. uh, we give the very good service for, mm -hmm. for the customer, for the passenger. Yes. But uh, when, when uh, we focus on the shorter routes, maybe what passenger needs is not always a very good service as high airways provide because the flight mm -hmm. time is so short. We're talking about one to two hour flight time. Yes. Uh, we want a very full set of meal service on board. Mm -hmm. uh, we, so in, instead, we reduce some level of service on board and turn back into uh, lower pricing. Right, but we will still will still offer some uh, level of product service that's above low cost airline. For example, that uh, mm -hmm. the passenger don't have to worry about the uh, minor items like paying. Do I have to pay check in counter fees? Mm -hmm. If I if I don't have time to check in by internet, do you yes. have to the uh, do you have to rush to 
uh, board the aircraft in order yes. to get the good seat because uh, uh -huh. we have to uh, we offer seat selection without charge. Yes. I do have to pack my baggage with seven kilos and carry the personal waiting device to avoid the high baggage fee at the mm. check-in counter because we give 20 kilos allowance baggage. Same with Same uh, as Thai Airways. Yes. And uh, we also offer the light uh, snack and drinks on board. Nice and thing. of course we have some uh, more offer to sell on board as well. And mm. most of all, Thai Smile, we joined the uh, uh, Royal Orchid Plus the mm. mileage uh, mm. with Thai Airways. With all this, but the price will be cheaper than Thai? Yes, of course. The mm. price will be cheaper than current Thai Airways. Yes. Uh, maybe a little more expensive than the, uh, than the current low-cost carrier, but it can be worth. I see. Can, can you uh, see, we have Thai Airways in Net International. We also a major shareholder in Nok Air. And then we're going to have Thai Smile. So can you explain uh, how all the three going to be positioned? Uh, we call we call this as a airline portfolio strategy. Yes. Uh, we look at the market and we found that uh -huh. uh, uh, the airline passenger market today develops in many different ways in, and in the past 10, 20 years because the customer are separated into segments. Yes. The premium passenger that would like to have uh, the full service and everything all include the very price sensitive uh, passenger that uh, care about price as number one mm -hmm. and there are some a group of passenger in between that uh, mm -hmm. maybe a little less service and a little lower in price would be acceptable for them so what we are doing Thai Airways is that we would like to offer the product and service that is different and suit for each segment of customer yes and also suit for the geographical mm. Thai Airways will be a, a premium at service network airline at the top yes. very high premium service mm -hmm. and serve global yes. uh, our network in 50 60 countries uh, serving global destination we focus mm. on on large market and long distance uh, Nok Air currently will be our domestic value carrier best from Don Mueang, yes. which is we found very good strength from Don Mueang because the, the passenger who lives on the north part of Bangkok yes. found Don Mueang very convenient and small airport like Don Mueang uh, can get in and out in very few minutes. I, uh, I hope that uh, if the, the airport authority can recover Don Mueang within the next few months, Nok Air yes. will move back to Don Mueang because that's that strain. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, so we, we found a gap in the regional. Yes. In the regional. So that's why we cr uh, create Thai Samal to fill the gap in the regional because we found that mm -hmm. the passenger who travel in two, three hours flight time yes. uh, don't need the full service but need something uh, cheaper mm -hmm. in return. So can you talk about the routing the domestic and then also regional for Thai Samal, the plan? Uh, there, there is some change in the route strategy for yes. Thai Samal. Uh, two few months ago, we announced that Thai Smile will start with the domestic route in 2012. Uh, we're going to fly yes. Ubon Udon, Khon Kaen Chiang Rai Surat. Yes. But uh, due to strategy change with Nok Air, we have Thai Airways has increased the share in Nok from 39% to 49%, yes. thanks to Kung Thai Bank. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're going to be more, uh, use Nok Air more in the domestic expansion. Yes. So Thai Smile, we have changed our routes right here to focus more on, on regional. We're going to fly, change from 50% domestic, 50% international. We're going to mm -hmm. change to about 80-90% regional routes, only 10-20% domestic. Uh, in regional routes, there are lots, lots of opportunity in the secondary destination that yes. it may be too small for, for uh, Thai. Thai Airways yes. to fly, but mm -hmm. very good opportunity for Thai Samal. And it also helps to bring the passenger, the tourists and the mm -hmm. business into Thailand as well. Can you mention some of the possible regional uh, routings? It's a bit too early to, yes. to name the destination because yes. uh, we are in the process of finalizing mm -hmm. uh, the approval and the timing to each airport. I, uh, I think by February we can announce but that. But mm -hmm. the three areas that we're going to focus is will be China, India, and ASEAN. 
I see. And the flight time, the, there's any limit uh, that uh, for this uh, Thai SMI regional service? We're looking at two to three hours flight mm -hmm. time from this region, from Bangkok. Yes. I see. And from so Bangkok and maybe from other main uh, yes. cities of Thailand as well. Mm -hmm.